Hi guys, our Artist of the Week this week, we have two artists, Guy Tang and Kat Von D. So these artists are a little bit different than any of the artists we've had till now. Um, so one thing we could say about them is that they're both body artists, although a performance artist like Marina Abramovic, certainly, you know, her art was also a lot about the body and we've looked at people like Anna Mendieta. Um, but what's maybe even more different is that really all of the artists we've looked at until now are fine artists who, even if they are people who go out into the environment and do land and earth kind of work, their work still, at least in the, in the form of photography, tends to appear in art galleries, art museums, and these kind of cultural institutions. They're part of the academic art discourse. They're in art history books. They're talked about in university courses like this one. Um, whereas people like Guy Tang and Kat Von D are popular artists. They're part of popular culture. They aren't so generally talked about in these kinds of contexts. So as much as their own work is pretty interesting and you might like to talk about that, I'd also love to have you try to think about the distinction. So from an academic perspective, you know, one might argue that artists like Marina Abramovic or Anna Mendieta or these, you know, many other artists we've looked at, that their work maybe more resonates deeply across culture and different ideas like that. Um, on the other hand, they are maybe a little abstract for you and, and these more popular, as in pop culture, these more popular artists might actually, you know, be much more resonant for many of you. So you can think about that difference between, you know, the kind of artists you saw in, you know, in a museum visit versus uh, these artists. So, so Guy, they both do body in some sense. Guy Tang does hair, and, hair, and um, Kat Von D does tattoos. You might know her because I think she was on a TV show. He wasn't, but in, in hair and fashion colors, he's pretty huge. Um, they're both Los Angeles artists living and working today. Um, so that should be pretty fun for you to think about. Um, so her work, you know, is someone comes to her and asks for something and um, the art that they commission from her will, you know, most likely be part of their body, their, their very body, part of their identity for the rest of their life. Um, Guy Tang's work is more ephemeral. It's, you know, maybe six weeks and it's gone. But then on the other hand, her work, you know, depending on what clothes you wear, you may not even see it every day. Whereas his work, you know, it's on the top of your head. It's, it's as, as out there a part of a person as you can be. So, you know, six weeks of a, of a, of a wild, you know, Guy Tang experience might be something. So anyway, um, if you don't already know about these two artists, I'm sure you'll have fun looking at their work. And, you know, again, think about kind of how they work and what they do and, and how that resonates or doesn't, you know, for you. Um, but also try to think of it, you know, vis-a-vis -vis all the other artists, the fine artists we've looked at. So people like, you know, Andy Warhol or, or Marina Abramovic um, have become so huge in the fine art world that they've kind of crossed over and, and become you know, part of popular culture as well. A small number of artists do that. Um, but these artists, again, I think, you know, are sort of homegrown within our pop culture world. So uh, I think it'd be a good space for you to talk about. So Guy Tang, Kat Von D, have fun. Looking forward to the discussion.